Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those of you who are new, so welcome. Today I will be doing a tutorial on this eye look that you guys see right here using the new Off Tropic Shifting Sand Palette from NYX. I actually just picked this up from Ulta. I know online it is on sale, I believe, right now for like $14. This is one of the Off Tropic off tropic palettes. I really want to pick up the other one after playing with this one. The color story just really spoke to me. It had like the purple, the green, pops up orange, the pink, like it's just super pretty and I really liked it. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to be doing a voiceover for the tutorial just to make it go a little bit quicker. Um, and I think it might be a little bit easier. So let me know what you guys think down below of the voiceover versus the um, talk through tutorial but yeah so before we get started be sure and subscribe to my channel and we'll begin so I already set my eyes with the L'Oreal concealer I'm going in with this fluffy Morphe brush and I'm just going to set all over that with this light shade that you see right here sorry guys the palette doesn't have shade names actually they just have numbers on the back so that's why I'm gonna hold up the palette each time and then I'll just highlight which shade I am using all right next I'm gonna dip into this really pretty kind of like a muted mustard shade with my morphe m433 and I'm just gonna begin by placing this in the crease with windshield wiper motions. This will just be a great base for what I'm going to be doing later on. And that way everything just blends nicely and I don't have as many harsh lines cause we don't want that. But I am gonna be building this color up. I mean, you can see it, there is pigment, but it does take a minute to work it up, which is what you see me doing right now on both sides. All right, next I'm dipping in to this beautiful pink shade right here, and I'm going in with my Morphe M411 brush. It has a tapered tip, so I want this to be more defined in my crease. And since my eyes are a little bit hooded, it just makes it easier for me to get in there, and I cannot wink to save the life of me. So this is the brush I like to use when I'm going in to do crease work like this. I just really like it. It's great for that and for like smoking out shadows. I'm just going to go in and deepen up and pack on this pink. This pink shade is super pigmented. I really, really like this shade. Alright, so now that I built all of that up and kind of brought it out, I am going to go in with my Neutrogena makeup wipe and just kind of clean it up because I do want to do a winged look with this, like do some winged winged liner. I haven't done any in forever and using makeup wipes just makes it so much easier on me. It's just hard because my eyes are different. One is more hooded. I don't know if you guys can see my scar on the left of the screen, but the eye is definitely more hooded, so it's a bit tricky. Now I'm going to take my JH41 brush and wet it real quick with my Ofra spray. And then I'm going to take that and dip into this really pretty shimmery green. I mean, come on, if you guys saw me with this palette, you know I'm going to use the green shade, let's be honest. I also need to apologize because I was out of frame from the beginning of me packing on the shimmer, but I'm literally just packing this all over my lid space. And every once in a while, I do have to re-wet it just to keep packing it on. The shimmer almost feels drier than those shimmers that I love but I mean it's not a huge deal I just always wet my brush anyways and then just make sure that you do your eyes first because you will have some fallout with these shimmers. Next I'm going to go in and do my liner. This is just a Morphe liner brush and then this is the Tarte um, Clay Pot in black and I'm just going and I'm starting with my wing the reason I like using makeup wipes is because it literally just gives you direction on where to place your wing and then you can just connect it. I honestly haven't done a wing in so long because I haven't really been into them. So I'm definitely going to have to get my practice back down with them. But it ended, up, it ended up not turning out too bad considering. Also, I did go in with a makeup wipe before this just to clean out the fallout under my eyes in case you guys are 
wondering. Alright, so right now I'm just connecting it and lining across my lid. I'm trying to keep it smaller so it doesn't cover up a lot of the green. But after this, I'm going to go in and do the rest of my face, put on my lashes, and we'll come back and do the lower lash line. Alright, so I have the rest of my makeup on and I am feeling myself, as you can see, by my little dance. Plus I was jamming to music. So next I'm going to go in and I actually did already line my eyes. I used the Pat McGrath liner and then I also did my waterline. It just makes it look better. So next I'm going in with the JH40 to do some work on my under eyes. Alright, so like I said, we're going in with the JH40. We're dipping into this yellow shade. We're basically just mimicking what we did in the crease on the lower lash line. So I'm going to take this color and just sweep it under my lower lash line. Alright, with that same brush, we're dipping into this pink shade and going to sweep this under the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going in to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This mascara is so good. I love it. I think it's great for my lashes. I highly recommend though if you have like no lashes on your lower lash line to use a mascara that has a smaller wand because this one is pretty bulky but I really love it. Alright, I wanted to quickly mention that the lashes I'm wearing are the style Lovable from Flutter Lashes. I love the length and density of these because you can still see your eyeshadow through them. I'm obsessed. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that I am wearing the lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the style Pink Venus on my lips. And then the gloss from NYX. It's their Better Gloss in the style, or not style, the color Eclair. And Q Mini music montage before my outro. All right, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm actually really liking this palette. I think it's super cute and I really wanna use the like orangey tones in here and even this purple sometime maybe for a like next look but yeah be sure and subscribe to my channel and the links down below um will be my reward style link so if you guys are interested in these products i will make a small commission if you guys do purchase them through my links um if not it's obviously no big deal but thank you guys if you do use them. It means a lot to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.